Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to another full day of eating, day in the life, living life to the max, all that kind of stuff. I've actually got something really interesting to show you. Um, if you didn't already know, well, I guess you do already know, but I always talk about how lucky we are, the fact that we get fresh berries throughout the summer, we can pick them ourselves, and we're actually gonna go cherry picking in a little bit because I'm on a big cherry kick. Even though I feel like cherries this year, they've been really hit and miss. Like we get some really good ones, some really bad ones. It's not always to do with the color or the texture. I don't know, but we're going cherry picking. Yeah, I'm just really loving and appreciating more than ever all of the locally grown produce and these blackberries, like I said, we are gonna go cherry picking to like a cherry picking farm in a minute where you have to like pay to pick them. Although that system doesn't really work, it's definitely flawed because they, sh I, like I've said before, they should weigh the people before they go in and come out rather than the basket that you pick because you best believe we're gonna eat like five kilos of cherries in the field. Um, so feel free to call the authorities on me, but I really don't give a shit. Anyways, if you watch my live stream, the one that I think will be posted, is already posted, this will probably, okay, this is getting confusing. If you watched my live stream, that was the previous video to this one, then you'll know that Jill, my girlfriend, is currently living with me. And this morning, she, when I was at the gym, because the gyms have finally reopened here as well, which has been amazing, I'll talk about that later, but she went on a walk and picked all of these locally grown, well, obviously locally grown, she didn't walk to like Poland or something. But yeah, these are all locally grown blackberries. But yeah, every time we walk in nature, we always take out a little bucket because there's just berries, just berries galore, bare berries everywhere. They aren't that sweet, and by that I mean they are pretty sour, but... Very nutrient dense. Very nutrient dense. But yeah, we're gonna start by munching through some of these. Then I'm gonna make a protein shake. I'll show you exactly what I put in it in a minute, because I did work out this morning. Then we're gonna go cherry picking and make some more amazing food. I'm also gonna show you what I do with all of my compost. By that, I mean we are currently going through like a ginormous, like a... That, do you know what? Do you know what, guys? Wait there. This is the size. I don't. Can can they can they tell the size from this? It's very big. This is the size of the watermelon that we've been consuming every day, um, and it just can't fit in my trash anymore because I just fill it up. So, and I also don't have a compostable bin. I, I also don't have like a. Com I also don't have like a compostable system where I live. So I'm going to show you what we do with all of our peels in the way of kind of like giving it back to nature if you know what I'm saying. But first things first, let's make a smoothie. Like I've been saying in every single vlog for the last like four months, I usually start the day with watermelon, watermelon, gonna have some watermelon later. Today I'm just in the mood, like I don't follow anything, like any kind of structure that I feel like I have to stick to. Today I'm just feeling like a creamy, thick, high protein shake. And you all know my favorite one in the world is with berries, salted caramel, hemp seeds, the whole shebang. So that's what I'm making. Also, you can see in the background, fully stocked up on liquid gold, the proper gold runny stuff, which is now back in stock. So if you haven't got yourself a jar yet, click down below. So I usually use like um, blueberries, but this morning all I could find was um, a mixture of, you're probably wondering, uh, they're probably wondering why. You're probably wondering why I'm not just putting in the fresh berries that we just picked. Number one, I just want to eat those like, I, I like to save fresh berries for just eating. And also, I'm not about to drink a warm smoothie, um, and this is the ice element, because I don't have any ice, so... I know none of you were probably wondering that, but I just wanted to say it, okay? So in there, we have got a mixture of frozen wild blueberries, frozen straws, blackberries, these are all locally grown, and rasps. And then, the best part of all, this is the salted Caramel Maca from Vivo Life. This is their raw vegan protein powder Which I'm gonna be honest. I went through a stage of just having it like twice a day Not because I feel like I need that much protein, but just because I love the flavor so much it tastes like dessert Like you can add this to your breakfast smoothies Your yogurt bowls Just blend it with plant milk. It tastes like a dessert Love it full scoop of that and some cashew milk can use any plant milk of your choice. I don't know. For me at the moment, it's always either oat or cashew. And we blend. And we turn it on.
Ooh, would you look at that texture? See, that's how I like a smoothie, not just like slurp slurp, and not just like spoon spoon, but a bit like in between, you know? Best of both worlds. I mean, you could totally spoon that, but you best believe I'm gonna slurp it. Slurp. Cheers. Mmm. I don't know, the combination of like the berries with the salty caramel, beautiful. Never tried these before. It is really good. Mm. No, it's really fucking good. Really fucking good. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna slow this down and I'll see you in a bit. Also, another thing I was gonna say is, you've probably never seen me make sushi on this channel before, and that's for a very obvious reason, because I hate rice. Even though I know, I know, I'm a disgrace to my Persian culture. Always have been, always will be. Um, according to my father, I am, because I have blonde hair as well, and I'm not representing properly, but that's a whole other story. But yeah, um, one thing I do love, though, with rice is... No, wait. But one thing I... But one way I do love rice is if it's sticky rice, and if it's sushi, and if there's lots of soy sauce and other stuff to dunk it in. So we're gonna make sushi later. When I say we're gonna make sushi later, you're gonna see me eat sushi later. I probably won't make it. Um, but I'm really forward to like experimenting with sushi because I'm fed up with the usual like cucumber rolls, avocado rolls. We're gonna make them too. But you guys also know that I'm kind of currently addicted to pickles and kimchi. So we're gonna make pickle and kimchi sushi. Yeah. We're on a mission, but I do this incognito because it probably is against the law. It's probably classed as vandalism. Let's go. Give it back to nature. I believe I can fly. I actually have some bad news because there is no cherries left. Cherry season is apparently over. We're both very depressed right now. But they still have straws and rasps. And what else do they have? Plums? Plums, yeah. Straws, rasps, oh, plums, red currants. red currants, which I'm not interested in. Um, we'll pick something. Um, and we'll eat more than we pay for just because we're angry. Guys, these strawberries are green. That looks very disappointing. Very disappointing. Can you see any red ones at all? Yeah. What, a green one? That's alright. Mm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm just in a sulk because I was really in the mood for picking Cherry. cherries. But cherries! Cherries are my number one berry. Even though they're not a berry. We're gonna try and find some good straws. Then we're gonna move on to the rasps. Like most of these straws are not even ripe. Sour. Sour. Mmm. That's highly illegal what you're doing. Caught you on camera. Yeah, I got you! Look at these babies. So bright red. We've actually eaten more than we're buying. <laughs> Moved on to these raspberries, which are so big and juicy. Almost like as big as strawberries. They are, right? Yeah. They're really big raspberries. Mmm. Top class rasp. After an hour of picking, this is the final result. <laughs> Thing overflowing. Bellies full of straws and rasps. These raspberries are huge. So fresh and squishy. Love it. Better be a sweet one. If not, it's a huge waste of a big one. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful! <laughs> very, very sweet. Nine? Mm-hmm. Yeah, eight. I mean, it's slushy. But it's sweet. Guys, you heard that crack. You heard that crack. 
that means it's a good one. Actually, it doesn't always mean it's a good one if it's overripe. This one is kind of very ripe, but not like over overripe. I give it like, what would you give it? I didn't try it. I mean, based on sweetness, I'd give it a 10, but the texture is very slushy, so I'd give it like, overall, I'd give this like, a six and a half. What? Mm-hmm. That's so bad. Mm. But it's slushy as fuck. I've gone hardcore on the fruit again today, but th the thing is, I always do that in the summer. Especially with the berries, especially with the watermelon. You guys know this. Mmm. We'll definitely, that huge watermelon I just showed you, we'll definitely finish that before dinner. I'm gonna go munch my way through this frustratingly slushy, but very sweet watermelon. And you know what's coming next. <laughs> Alright guys, today we are trying this Super 7 Nut Butter by this brand called Munch A Bunch. I've tried her, when I say her, there's a really sweet girl who makes these, I think she makes these in her kitchen. She makes them somewhere in the UK. They're pretty much like homemade. And she has loads of wacky flavors. Well, I don't, actually not that wacky compared to some of the ridiculous ones I've seen recently. I can't remember which ones I've tried of hers before, but they were bomb. Um, and yeah, this is a really kind of clean, healthy one. I feel like I've been eating a lot of junky ones recently and really fucking enjoying them. And by the way, I'll leave the link to her. This is not Spons, never Spons, unless I tell you it's Spons, this, but this is not Spons. Ingredients, almonds, Brazil nuts. That's a red flag that Brazil nuts are the second ingredient in this, because I've said before, when a nut butter has too many Brazil nuts, it just tastes like ass. Um, like actual, like not just like, oh, it tastes like ass. Like, no, it tastes like ass. Like arse, arse. Cashews, hazelnuts, peanuts, sunflower seeds, chia seeds. Don't know why the Brazil nut ratio is so high, but... I like the fact that it's in a glass jar. Um, considering it's a healthy one and there's lots of, I don't know, thicker nuts in there, especially cashews, which are always like, never silky in nut butter form. That looks pretty good. I also don't have any celery, um, and I also don't give a fuck. I'm, I'm not in the mood to go and get some today, so I'm gonna go in with a fork. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That absolutely glued my mouth together. Like my, my mouth is glued. And I know I'm kind of talking, but my mouth is actually glued. It's very gluey, but I kind of like it. It has a really refreshing, not refreshing, but fresh, clean taste. You can tell it's not one of those ones that's like the Meridian ones that are just rancid and left on the shelves for like, 400 years before someone actually purchases them. You don't taste Brazil nut that much, which is good. I mean, I love Brazil nuts, but in nut butter, like I said, it's crap. I love it. It does kind of taste like almond butter with added extra bits, which, to be honest, is exactly what it is, but, so that, so that shouldn't be surprising. But, um, would definitely recommend. I don't even feel the need to add salt. For me, that's pretty weird. So, we are just soaking the sushi rice. We put the whole 500 grams in because, to be honest, I'm very hungry. Even if we don't finish it today, we'll have it in the fridge for tomorrow. So as a little snack to dunk in some liquid gold or something. Um, but yeah, so we're just soaking the sushi rice first. Always make sure you soak it. You rinse it until the water is clear. I think that's the rule with any rice. It should be anyway. It's how I, make, it's how I used to make Persian rice back in the day, believe it or not. And then, yeah, we're going to cook it. It's gonna be nice and sticky. I don't know. I don't know what else to say about that. I can't believe I'm actually saying this about rice. Like, oh, I can't wait to eat rice. Considering I've spent my whole three years on YouTube telling you how much I hate it. But at the same time, I've never denied that I don't love sushi. Like, I just love sushi. Like I've always said that, right? I don't like rice, but I like sushi. It's not the same thing. <laughs> Good, creamy, creamy Hoss avocado. Ah, avocado. Oh, I mean, as much as I love this in sushi, I love nothing more than just a little sprinkle of sea salt and just apply to face with a spoon. It's the best way.
While I'm waiting for the sushi rice to cool, I'm just snacking on some... <laughs> snacking on a jar of tahini, as you do. But let me show you the texture. If you didn't already know, guys, this is my liquid gold. I'll leave the link down below. World's best, silkiest, authentic Lebanese tahini. And I just chopped up extra veggies for dunking. Texture and the flavor. It's just the whole damn experience. Mm. Plate number one of probably about 14. So we have some with kimchi, we have some with pickles, we have some with pickles and kimchi, we have some with cucumber, avocado, what am I forgetting? Red bell peppers as well, and of course, essential soy sauce for dunking. And also, because I can never eat dinner without greens, I've just chopped up a head of romaine, which I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I might put the sushi in them, use them as boats, send the sushi down the chute that way. To be honest, I'm probably just gonna dunk these in tahini as kind of a side dish to my sushi. <laughs> I'm just that kind of person. Cheers. How can you have it without soy sauce? Just don't understand that. Mmm. 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 -hmm. 10 out of 10. Definitely wanted some hummus. I don't know, I just feel like dunking it in hummus. You can never have too much avocado. Mmm.